How's it going guys, good afternoon here and welcome to the 83 rated first inform Danny Welbeck play review. First inform of the season, his career has been very unfortunate, you know he's all, he's injury prone, always stays sidelined for a long time and uh, is you know very unlucky always in front of the goal as well. He's got great bent around him unfortunately so obviously that's also bad for his confidence but he's I mean he's a good talent. You know, he does perform uh, very good at times and uh, he did that last week and got himself this inform, you know, and if you look at this inform, 83 rate did and uh, if you look at the stats, it's quite good, 87 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 shooting, 78 pass, 77 passing, 81 physical, so quite alright card, you know, it's quite decent on a whole, weak foot and skill moves are not the greatest alongside the weak rate, I don't really like high high on an offensive player as well and you know, the weak foot and the skill moves being only 3 stars which obviously is not usable at all. If further into the in-game stats, like I said, quite good card on a whole, he's got himself a great sprint speed with 87 and 85 ex acceleration, so quite pacey, you know, not the paces obviously, but quite decent. Shooting is also quite good, 89 positioning with 84 finishing and 86 shot power, so that's obviously very, very good. Long shots are a bit low, but he would, you know, still score some goals also at the box. Passing is also quite decent with 82 short passing, and then dribbling is quite, you know, fascinating. I mean, he's got himself 87 agility and he's quite tall, so that's great. Balance is low, and that will be felt. Reactions, ball control, and you know, composure and also dribbling are quite good as well. Composure is a bit low, but you know, it's still quite decent. And then he's also going very strong in a bit aerial ability. If you look at him, eight, you know, 79 heading accuracy with 83 jumping, so you do expect to win a lot of headers. Stamina is also great, 84, but obviously, since he got himself high, high, work rate with you know being, being quite aggressive with 77, uh, you know, that would affect that stamina. But he's going to get himself great stent with 81, so that would be usable as well. I felt very disappointed to not review him earlier while I was using him because when you look at the card, obviously it's a low tier card, but being on a low tier is still a very good card in my opinion. Now, you know, I I, I played him in Division 1 and I'm not the best of FIFA players, obviously, and uh, he's not the greatest of cards, but he did, you know, stand out a lot for me and he was giving not, you know, the worst of problems to the likes of Prime Maldini and Prime Ferdinand, but he was still, you know, giving them a very, very tough time. And that was quite good to see because uh, this card is his first in form and it's 83 rated and obviously the stats are not right up there, but to see him perform as good did feel great. And uh, I will say one thing, which is that, you know, I didn't really use him on left mid or left forward. I did try him there, but he didn't really work great for me because, you know, on the other day, I played Mane as a right mid on, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the draft. And uh, as if you know, mon has got a lot of great, you know, pace. He's obviously 94 when it comes to his pace. And uh, this guy right here is 87, so there's a bit different for me to play, you know, uh, to have cards on flanks. I do like them to be very, really pacey. He's not as pacey for flanks. I think he's a lot better suited for striker and also the stats that he possesses because he got himself 89 positioning with 86 finish, 84 finishing, I believe. So that's quite good, you know. But starting off with his positives. As I've mentioned, finishing, strength, movement, and positioning are his positives that stood out the most for me. His finishing is great, you know, the score a lot of goals, headers, you know, uh, low, low drivens, uh, you know, you know, also the box also, so that's great. Strength is also very usable, you know, he's got himself great strength. His balance is a bit off, so he's, he's you know, he's a bit inconsistent when it comes to, you know, pushing aside defenders, but still, he does use it quite often. His movement is also very good. Now, he's very pacey, like I said. It's not like he's not pacey at all. Obviously, he's pacey. But his movement on the ball and off the ball is quite good. So, that was something that great to see because obviously, it did, you know, help a lot to score the goals. For example, as you can see right there. And uh, his positioning is also very, very good. Always stays on his position and never goes out. And the negatives are balance, work rate, and weak fit. Work rate does affect the stamina, not the best. Weak fit, not usable, only 3 stars and balance is, like I said, is quite low. He does fall very easily. And the cards I think are quite similar are Perisic and Carrasco. You know, very similar, obviously, you know, when it comes to the feeling. But Perisic and Carrasco are uh, a lot pacier and obviously they've got some stats that are not uh, as uh, bad as he has. But still a very, very good card and uh, I would definitely recommend you guys to buy it because he's only going for 17k coins and uh, he does the job. But that was it for this review, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.